to Pat Summerall outside Chicago. Pat? This is Jack Nicholas moments ago, his third shot at the 15th hole. Nick fighting for a spot on the Ryder Cup team. Well done. CBS Sports proudly presents the PGA Tour. Oh, I just outside Chicago. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Pat Summerall. We certainly hope you had a happy 4th of July and the whole weekend has been good to you. Let me just bring you up to date on what's happened here in the 1981 Western Open. First of all, on Thursday's round, the first round, Don Pooley shot a 68, and he was the sole leader. On Friday, Greg Powers fired a record-tying 31 on the back nine, and he took over the lead. Then yesterday, in that rain-delayed round, Bill Rogers came out of the pack. The rain delay apparently didn't bother him, as he had six birdies, no bogeys, shot 66, and he took over sole possession of the lead. The field is perhaps the strongest. Ben, Watson, Nicholas, Trevino all here. Watson and Nicholas just barely made the cut, but Nicholas is making a surge today. Let's look at the leaderboard then. Today. Working with us, 1964 United States Open champion and CBS golf analyst Ken Venturi. Many of the pros say this is the best and toughest course they play. What do you I think it is, Pat. It's one you cannot be protective on because of its length. Uh, they have shortened it some, but... Uh, Fiore still on top at minus nine, followed by Rogers and Simons, two back. And then Jim Colbert at minus four, and J.C. Snead, minus three through 13. Left for birdie. Greg Powers. Boy, has he had his ups and downs today and in the last couple of days. Double bogeys in a row today. Double bogey, not bogey. Give him credit, though, for firing back, don't you? You really have to. You really have to. He went out the other day, put two double bogeys in a row with the Saturday. Back from eight to two under. They got it back to five under. And then today, he went from five under at eight to three under at nine, two under at ten. So he's really had an up and down round. Earlier, this was time. Three. Looking at Bill Rogers, his finishes here have been quite good. Mr. Greg Powers. The 36 hole record here at 136. Earlier, this was Greg Powers. This is for Birdie. Yes. And he keeps Greg Powers. What club would you think, Kenny? Well, right over the water, Pat, I would think that he's going probably about a five. I would think in there, five or big six. More flight looks more like a five iron in there. He has to be somewhere in the vicinity of about 170 yards. Pin high. It was the right club. Powers used a one off the tee in the first round on 10 out of the 14 holes. And they say he can move the one iron about as far as most people can, the three wood. Near so straight, he had a very good chance of winning there. To 15. Over the shoulder of Greg Powers, third shot to the par five. Four under par for the tournament. Come on back now. Yes. And Greg Powers is three and a half, four feet away from a birdie, which would put him at five under par. This young man who really and also right. right. It's 15. Greg Powers for birdie. That puts him at five under par. This man who tied the back nine record of 31. Hey, Ken, six birdies on the back nine here the other day is amazing. Main he at the 16th hole, this is 381 yards. Players usually go with the three wood, or in Greg Powers' case, I'm sure it'll be the favorite one iron. Just uh, putting the ball on the turf. There it is, the one iron, I'm sure. And the hole, as you can see, has been very good to him. Birdies in the second and third round.
at the moment. Fifth position at five under. That's in good position. Just a little right of the, the best line is as close as you can come down the left-hand side. Three under. And just a few moments ago, this was Greg Powers from the back of the green. Left to right break. Pretty fast down there, too. Isn't that nice? Wrapped against the back of the hole. Dead center. So, third place, but Fiori in command by two from Jim. Two strokes of bondage to 17. Greg Powers has unleashed a five iron. And hasn't it been lovely as Greg Powers continues on the upside here. Yes, sir, a good tournament for you, Mr. Powers. This is getting to be fun. It sure is getting to be fun. Ed Fiore at 11 under has a two-stroke lead over Jim Simons. We'll be back with more golf action from the oh, Butler National Golf Club after this word from your My local mom, station. <laughs> Now, Greg Powers, who has a nice chance for a birdie here. From six under to seven under, which will work a lot of money for him. Here's how this hole is played. It has been brutal. 120 bogeys to 32 birdies. Jack, the most amazing thing about Powers is that he bogeyed 10 to go back to two under, and now looking at a putt to go seven, seven. under. He's had a beautiful back nine. He has played this back nine all week very well. And this putt, again, as we said, will mean a good bit of money for him, should he make it. under in this tournament at one time he has the record for the 36 holes and then he went from eight under back to two under and now he is back to seven under Greg Powers remember the day we at Doral I sent him off with Nicholas and Weisskopf and he took a 10 on the first hole I think It's a different story here at the Western Open in 1981. He went out in 42 yesterday. Jack came back in, in 33. Uh, but today, again, this back nine, he's played the back nine just phenomenal. Greg Powers will be next to hit, and is he on a hot streak? Well, he has had on the back nine 34, 31, 33, and he's got par here for 31 after a bogey at 10. That putt with a bogey at 10, he'll shoot 30 on the back now. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Up on the green, here's Greg Powers. Putting for birdie. And the way he's been going, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Take a time with Simons. There's a big putt for him now. Right now, he has put it by, and that from seven would drop him. If he misses this, go back to six. Seven, he was all by himself at seven under. Of course, you look at Powers for one second going past the hole. You don't shoot 31s by lagging all day long. You better just keep ripping at it. As you saw, the putt he made at 17 was moving fast. So he has put the thing in full gear. Heat on himself as far as keeping sole possession of third place is concerned. Powers lining things up now. He's a nice fella. He can hit that ball pretty far, Pat. He's come over and used to play at Marco Island. We had over the tournament over there when you played in over there. Mm -hmm. He was always played well there. Oh, good. Oh. 